And with us now is Gordon Miller, the commander of the Tallahassee chapter number five of the disabled veterans. Is that correct? That's correct. Welcome to the program. I like Thank your you. hat there. <laughs> Got a lot of stuff up there. What all have you got up there? Commander and disabled American veterans, Tallahassee, DAV, had a flag, and there's a tie clip up there? Yeah, that was uh, the key to the city. Ah. It was presented by the mayor sometime last year. Well, that's great. You're here to talk about a service van that's coming to town. Is that correct? That's right. Tell us a little Next bit Next week, that. I believe, is the proper dates. Is the 21st, 22nd, 23rd, and 24th. At the Tallahassee Mall, our service van will be in town to help those that have not been around the Veterans Administration uh, service area or that have questions concerning uh, their veterans eligibility, such as uh, disability compensation, the GI benefits for education, home loans, this type of thing. Okay, well that's great. And what exactly is on the van? Well, we have a trained, very well qualified service officer of the disabled american veterans in this case it'll be phil Doggerty, and this is a state van the uh, state of florida as such the dav state of florida purchased this van two years ago just to travel within the state of florida mm -hmm. assisting veterans here there are seven vans that travel nationally that are sponsored by the national dav and what you'll find in the van is all of those wonderful red tape paperwork forms that uh, slow things down but in this case speed them up okay when you say it's going to be at the mall now, specifically where? Inside, hopefully, the Tallahassee Mall. It will be staged the inside. The whole van's going to be right, right inside. So in the Tallahassee Mall. If you have a disability already or wheelchair problems, there's plenty of parking around the Tallahassee Mall. And it'll be air conditioned and there'll be restrooms handy. OK, well, that sounds great. Now, there's a rumor going around there's a big barbecue coming up. Is that true? Oh, boy, is there ever. OK. On September 3rd, Labor Day, uh -huh. again at the Tallahassee Mall, they're going to have a happening. They and happening, all right. While they're having their happening, the DAV has been invited to put on a barbecue, an old-fashioned, country-style, get-down barbecue. And we're going to do that at the back entrance to the mall around near Wilco. And we're going to set up a tent. We're going to have two or 300 tables and chairs out there. And Fat Man, a Fat Man's barbecue, Ken Frisbee, is going to come out, and he's made all the arrangements to have some of the best barbecue around that you have ever tasted. Well, I have tasted Fat Man's barbecue down on Appalachian Parkway, and I tell you what, it is good stuff. That we're going to use for fundraising for our building fund and general operating fund. And then in November, we're going to raise some more money, hopefully by forget-me-nots, to... Uh, facilitate and help the veterans in Tallahassee and local area in our welfare fund. Is there a phone number people might call for information there either sure about is. the service van or the forthcoming barbecue? It's 893-1561. 893-1561. It's in the phone book under the Disabled American Veterans. And I assume they just call you during regular business hours. They can call anytime they need to. Okay, that's great. Tell us a little bit more about the van again. You said this just travels throughout Florida? This is the Florida van, that's correct. Uh, the State Department of Florida, i.e. the Veteran State Department, mm -hmm. uh, DAV State Department, not the, the State of Florida State Department, okay. but the DAV State Department purchased this about two years ago to travel around Tallahassee and smaller cities throughout the state. Uh, bringing information to veterans, whereas they don't have a service officer handy or a VA office within 100 miles, we bring them a van with good information and people to help them fill out those complicated long forms. Now, do you just handle the van when it's in town, or do you also go throughout the state with it personally? Uh, I personally do not. However, district commanders, which there are several districts around, generally travel with the van when it's within their district. Now, George Carter is district commander here and he traveled with it throughout the district. Now, while it's in Tallahassee, the three chapters that are here in town will be handling it personally with the kid gloves. Well, regarding the veterans themselves, has anything come about recently that has improved their situation? Not recently. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, the situation is that our rights and benefits are constantly being eroded by uh, Uncle Sugar, mm -hmm. uh, the Uncle government. Uncle Sugar, I love it. They're trying to take away anything that we've got. Mm -hmm. and of course, that's the purpose of the DAV is predominantly a lobbying group in Washington. This is where most of our dues go to, is to pay for lobbyists to see to it that what rights we do have don't erode too far so that we uh, still have some left in the end. 
Okay, do you still get a free driver's license? Nope. No. There's no freebies hardly left anymore. Now, li license plates, if yeah. you're 100% disabled, you can still get those. But at and one time... If you're over 50%, you can get a DV tag. Uh -huh. Which but, entitles you to what? Uh, the tag is a permanent tag, and it's a little smaller fee. Mm -hmm. But other than that, there's not too many freebies left for the veteran. What is the situation on buildings being built today? Are there certain codes that uh, well, allow disabled veterans to get in the buildings there are, now? There are more codes now than there have been in the past. This is one of the things that has been a, a definite step forward is access to buildings and parking for the veterans, as well as just disabled people in general. Mm -hmm. There's a lot more disabled than just war veterans right. that need these facilities. However, a lot of this has come about through the efforts of organizations like the American Legion, the Disabled American Veterans, Veterans of Foreign Wars, as well as other organizations that help the uh, disabled. Okay, is there, again, a phone number to get some information for the folks? 893-1561. 893-1561. It's on the screen now. Okay. What about VA hospitals? What can you tell me about those? I can tell you there's one in Lake City, there's mm -hmm. one in Gainesville, and there's one down in Tampa. We have service officers, much like the one that we have coming around in the van, available at all of these hospitals to help with the paperwork and the form work and getting you into the hospital. If you need to be in a VA hospital or feel as though you need to be in one, call the DAV and we can do what we can to get you where you need to be. Mm -hmm. Well, I thank you for joining us. My You've pleasure. Been Listening to Gordon Miller, who is the commander of the Tallahassee Chapter Number 5 of the Disabled Veterans. And there is a van coming to town at the Tallahassee Mall, so any disabled veterans that need some information can go out to the mall and get it. And we thank you for joining us on Accent.